It's supposed to be a disclaimer slide here. All right, um, let's get on with it. When I was in college, uh, I never thought about coffee. I, I was like, ah, coffee is uh, nasty stuff. I hated the taste and all that. But I guess towards my final year, when things got really, really tough, I was my final year of medical school. <laughs> I had to take coffee to stay awake and read and and pass my exam. So coffee, in some way, was a lifesaver for me. But all the while, all the while, we we knew I knew what I was doing for my body because we know that coffee can have some adverse effects over a long period of time on your your nervous system and on your endocrine system especially. And but I could never get get off it. I could just never get off it. And uh, it was until I came over to this country about five years ago. Well, I came over to this country about eight years ago. But about five years ago, I was introduced to the concept of healthy coffee. And ever since I was introduced to the first <laughs> bag of coffee, I don't think I've ever been satisfied with anything else out there. And um, the 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 benefits that I've had from this coffee in particular far outweigh uh, anything that is out there. And so uh, it's, I really have been trying to get these Dr. Beck on for quite a while, so I'm just glad he could make it tonight. And uh, we're going to learn a lot of things about um, coffee, regular coffee, and uh, the problems associated with it. But we're also going to learn some great things about uh, about healthy coffee and we will find out that you can actually eat your cake and, and have it at the same time. So uh, without much further ado, um, I'm going to ask Sherry to introduce Dr. Paul and uh, by the way, Jeff Frank will be on the call as well. He is an associate of Dr. Beck and they work together in, this, in educating people on health and wellness, uh, on the Gano Excel uh, health and wellness products. So Sherry, back to you. Okay. Uh, Dr. Paul Beck has lectured across the United States and Canada on various health topics. Paul has done countless 30-minute, one-hour, and even two-hour radio programs. He became a, a naturopathic doctor in 1996, owning Wellness God's Way, specializing in some of the most difficult health problems, including mutated cells. He also owns an electrobiofeedback body scan, as well as other high-tech, up-to-date high-tech electronic therapy devices. Dr. Paul, along with his wife, Carol, have been hired as product formulators, and ha that has included them launching many new products, even some that were using enzyme therapies. And today, uh, the two of them have become top leaders and earners in numerous national and international co uh, companies. In fact, they broke the international record of more than 10 years in the company we hear about tonight, Gano Excel, internationally by reaching the Crown Diamond Director level in just three months. So that is absolutely amazing. In fact, we've had one of our dear friends from Australia typing into us that she's drinking some healthy coffee while she's listening to the webinar. So I just <laughs> thought I wish everybody could be doing that to that'd be wonderful. So uh, Paula and Jeff, we will hand it over to you. Okay, thank you, Sherry. This is Jeff. I'm going to hand this over to Paul here in a few minutes, but I'm going to go through a few slides of introduction uh, before I do that. And um, First of all, I'd like to say it's uh, really great to be on the broadcast. Uh, welcome everybody that's uh, listening in. This is really a fascinating subject that we're about to hear tonight. Um, I was a long-term coffee drinker, and uh, Dr. David, I was in that category of uh, kind of stressing my endocrine system and uh, kind of exhausted my adrenal glands. All of us are in a big push in this country to achieve and overachieve, and caffeine is uh, by far the number one thing that people turn to to do that. And uh, I was in that category. I was delighted to find out that there was a healthy alternative to coffee. And um, I was even more delighted to find out that this product was absolutely delicious. Um, I thought uh, anything that says healthy usually doesn't taste good. You know, I'll just put it that way. And uh, yeah. I was delighted to take this first cup. I went, wow, this is delicious. So um, we're going to start, uh, we're going to back up just a little bit because there's a reason why this product is, uh, is a healthy coffee. And uh, there's something, there's a, uh, really the product that's been developed is this red mushroom. You're all seeing on the, uh, 
on the screen, that there's an extract that has been derived from this famous little The red mushroom, it's also called rishi in Japan, lingshi in China. Rishi is probably by far the most uh, common word you'll find out if you do some research on the internet. Um, it's called the most superior herb of the Shennong ancient manuscript. Uh, the Shennong is the, is the oldest medical manuscript that is in existence. And um, it categorized herbs in three different categories. And um, the top of the top category they found was this... Um, red mushroom called Ganoderma lucidum or Rishi in Japan. And the reason being, 200 active elements, 165 of those being antioxidant elements. And uh, to give you a little perspective, from what I understand, things like um, uh, green tea, which is uh, supposed to be very famous for antioxidants, has got about 15 antioxidants in it. This has a 165 in this little herb. Uh, it amounts to just an amazingly healthy uh, a product to be able to consume. There's over a million internet pages um, of third-party information on the internet. This is not uh, something that's uh, a quiet subject. You can find just a proliferation of knowledge on the internet, including about 300, um, 323, something like that, uh, peer-reviewed studies, medical studies with the um, U.S. government in PubMed.com, uh, the National Medical Library. Uh, it's, it's probably uh, considered the most studied herb in the world right now. Let's go on to the next slide. It's got a very interesting history. Uh, you have to understand a little bit of, about this to understand the development of where we are with this particular product. Uh, I checked on the internet about four years ago when I first uh, ran into this and there's still places selling Ganoderma lucidum of, of, of fairly good quality for four to five hundred dollars for a bottle of supplements on the internet. And uh, it's, it's been very, very rare for for a good part of Chinese history, um, only royalty was allowed to have this herb. And I'll explain why here in just a second. But uh, it's um, actually in Chinese law, a person caught with Ganoderma in their possession that was not part of the royal family or of a wealth in the family was executed for having it. It was called the uh, elixir of the gods, the, uh, the herb of agelessness. There's all these lofty names connected with this herb. And uh, the king wanted it for himself. The emperor wanted it for himself. And uh, here's a picture of uh, where this is grown, very high up in the tropical forests in the, uh, in the Asian area. And um, it only grows on dead um, plum trees. And uh, they, they said in, out of 10,000 fallen plum trees, they'd find two or three of these mushrooms. They'd send out their peasants, their serfs, you know, to collect these things, they'd be out for weeks and come back for, with two or three of these little red mushrooms. And um, sometimes only one or two of them were usable, you know, the harvested at the correct time and all that. So uh, that being is very rare, very expensive. Um, in fact, for most of Chinese history, uh, it was the gold standard. It was more expensive to purchase per ounce than gold. And uh, you'll, you'll find this little red mushroom uh, in proliferation all the way through Asian artwork. You'll find it in little places. If you kind of look in the background, you'll find this little red mushroom growing on a pillar in the background. And um, kind of an interesting history. Uh, lots of stuff on the Internet that you can read about it. Here's uh, when the history started to change for this herb. It's, it was very difficult, near to impossible, to grow this in captivity. And uh, Dr. Liao Sun Sang, mycologist uh, and the founder of this particular company, developed breakthroughs in the Ganoderma cultivation. He worked with um, mushrooms and with orchids. And uh, his family um, uh, said, why don't we, with the knowledge that we have, see if we can finally break the code on growing in um, and cultivating in plantations this little mushroom's never been done before in all of world history. Um, they literally had to, even up to 10, 12 years ago, go in the wild to find this, uh, this herb. So after... Um, 
owe quite a few millions and millions of dollars, 100 million or something like that in development of this. Um, he found this breakthrough, and they're growing it in, uh, in plantations. Uh, it's all pretty proprietary. Uh, they've got a, an amazing extract that uh, Dr. Paul will be telling you about here in a minute. This is how, how this looks inside of uh, one of their plantations. We've all got some concerns about things coming from Asia. This actually comes um, from Malaysia, which is a very modern uh, country. Two of the tallest buildings in the world are there. And um, they actually, uh, you go through one of those sanitation booths to be able to enter or leave these facilities. Very pristine, very, um, uh, very medically pure. Uh, product that they're developing. It's not like growing mushrooms in a pile of mud in a, in a warehouse someplace. Uh, they're hanging in um, an organic brown rice sacks with rubber tree bark. There's one of these uh, beautiful mushrooms growing per, and uh, that's discarded uh, before the next batch comes out. Um, no chemicals, pesticides, or horm hormones are used in the cultivation of the Ganoderma. Actually, they've got clout because the, um, the owner is a, a billionaire to have a no flyover zone. So they don't have um, uh, any fallout from, uh, from the carbon emissions. You can't get within a mile of any of these plantations with a uh, combustion engine. You get off and walk, or you drive in an electric cart. Um, that's, again, Dr. Liao Soon Sang's his passion for the purity of this product. Here's one of the uh, plantations. They've got 50 of these now, um, and uh, growing enough so even the, uh, even the poor, even the common person who uh, could not get a hold of this amazing herb and the benefits of it, uh, it's, it's affordable. I guess that's what I'm saying now. And he's really quite a superstar over in Asia because uh, it's a very commonly known um, herb in the Asian areas. Well, what are the benefits of this? <clears throat> There's a list uh, that's as long as your arm. Um, if you go to pubmed.com and just type in any condition, uh, it'll tell you whether or not this has a, a benefit toward that condition. But again, um, uh, as Dr. Paul and Dr. David could tell you, um, this product works by strengthening a person rather than uh, pharmaceuticals, which kind of uh, treat symptoms. This actually works on your whole body, so it has a, a variety of benefits. But here's our top ones. Detoxification is kind of on the top of the list tonight in discussion um, at the cellular level. Uh, it's called the king of detoxifiers. There's definitely a feeling, um, an instant feeling that most people notice of increased energy, um, less fatigue. It boosts your immune system. And I've just got to tell you that uh, um, I've taken uh, vitamin C most of my life, but I really haven't been able to tell that I've gotten any particular benefit from vitamin C. I just believe that I am. They, they tell me it's healthy. I take it. Um, I haven't ever gotten scurvy, so I know that I'm in, in good shape on that one. But uh, this particular herb, from the time I first started uh, taking it, I instantly noticed some changes. And um, one of them was the, the less fatigue and increased energy. And I've got a personal uh, story about that, but also immune system. Uh, for the last four years, I, I'm typically a two-time-a-year uh, sick person like most people in America, a cold and a flu, uh, one in the summer, one in the winter, for all of my 50 years. In the last four years, I've, been, I've had a mild cold once. So the antioxidants uh, and the, uh, the immune-boosting part of this herb is uh, really pretty, pretty spectacular. Anti-aging, 165 antioxidants. I can't really speak on the technical aspects because that's not my field, but antioxidants, from what I understand, have a lot to do with cleansing and uh, the length of your life and the quality of your life. Anti-anxiety, this actually goes to the central nervous system and uh, calms that central nervous system in a similar way that uh, like an antidepressant would without all the negative symptoms of an antidepressant. And good sleep. Everybody uh, talks about good sleep. You take a cup of this, um, either the hot chocolate or the coffee before you go to bed, and you feel like you go into a coma for the night. You don't remember a thing until morning. Um, those are our, our top six um, benefits. Well, let's go on. I'm, uh, I'm going to turn this over right now to a, a person that just really knows a lot about um, this particular herb, has worked closely with it. He's, uh, he's also a developer and a formulator. They, um, he and Carol, Dr. Carol, uh, distribute over 100 formulations to all over the world. Uh, uh, just a wealth of knowledge from Dr. Paul. Dr. Paul, here. Thank you, Jeff. Um, 
The one thing that I think most doctors these days are really thinking about is um, we have so much pollution today, and, and that's a real problem. And, you know, it's so exciting because we're dealing with the most superior earth, and, and that is the one thing that it does. It does help detoxify the body, and it does it at a cellular level. You know, when we think about things that happen, um, you know, the, uh, there's just in the air that we breathe, there's 177 billion tons of airborne pollutants that are discharged in the air every year. Uh, in addition to that, uh, our water supply is so bad. You know, we have the E. coli bacteria, arsenic, lead, PCBs, fuels, jet fuels, and the, the list is endless. Uh, right now, 1% of the water on this planet is now hit for, uh, fit for human consumption. There are about uh, 1,577 things in our water supply we should not be drinking. Um, the chlorine water purification system is really flawed in this nation. In fact, if we really knew what happened after WW1, the chlorine business in this nation, um, the chlorine was outlawed at the Paris P Peace Agreements and it was declared illegal in trench warfare. And we're, what are we going to do with the chlorine industry? And some brilliant person decide, oh, let's put it in our water supply. So what they do is they have a huge holding tank. They flood it with chlorine. When it hits any bacteria, any virus, it explodes. It forms uh, 18 different trihalomethanes and all different types of things that will cause gases and other problems and off-gassing. And this is affecting your pets. This is affecting you, and, and this is not a good thing. Now, another thing that's interesting, too, to have the life that God wants us to have, we have no choice but to detoxify our bodies at a cellular level. Now, there, is a, uh, uh, there was a study, and this is a very, very interesting study, and it's never been done before. And what they did is they took 10 people, and they did a very, very cons uh, comprehensive study, and they took approximately 210 chemical contaminants in human blood. They did human blood test and urine test, and this was just found in standard consumer products and industrial pollution. Now, this kind of a test has never been done before, and you've got to understand this is a cumulative load. So, you know, you have one problem, that's one part of the equation. But when you start getting 5, 6, 8, 10, 20, 30, uh, what that does to your body is devastating. So um, from these uh, 10 people that did the test, what they did was, after all the money they spent to do this, what they did was they took, this was the average of those 10 people. And as you can see, the problems that are there, mutated cells, 53, vision, 5, stomach, 59, uh, the brain and the nervous system, 62 chemicals. That's unbelievable. Uh, lungs, 55, liver, 42. Whoever thought, you know, you think phase 1, phase two, 2 detox in the liver and everything that the liver does for you, can you imagine that you would have 42 chemicals trapped in your liver. You know, even though we don't have the money to do all these uh, elaborate tests, but you figure if this is just 10 normal people, the numbers that we're seeing here, we may be a little higher, we may be a little lower, but we're probably pretty much at these numbers. Immune system, 53 chemicals. Uh, female reproductive, 61. Birth defects, 55. Hormonal system, 58 kidneys 54, reproductive 55, skin 56. And you know, a lot of people don't realize this, but when we have toxins, there's only three places for it to go. It has to come out in a urine, has to come out in a bowel movement, or if the body's desperate enough, it'll come out in the skin. Uh, in the heart, cardiovascular 55, and in the male reproductive system 47. And you wonder why there are so many problems that males are having when they get older with all kinds of problems. This is it. Now, I'm going to talk just a second about out of the 200 plus various things that are in Ganoderma, I want to talk about basically organic germanium. Organic germanium would probably be the num number one thing in this product that would be probably the best thing to talk about. Uh, 
Also, when we get back to nature, and it says right here in the plant world, when a plant is attacked by bacteria or a virus or other problems, what happens is the plant fights back with organic germanium. Organic germanium has the highest amount of, uh, Ganoderma has the highest amount of organic germanium known. Uh, also, the multiple immune properties and adaptogens that benefits the plant when it can be consumed by either animals or humans or uh, we get unbelievable benefits because of that. Now, another thing, too, that a lot of people don't realize, but with the advantage of detoxification and also the advantage of the organic germanium, um, there were two guys in Sweden in 1991, two Germans, Erwin and Bert. What they did is they won the Nobel Peace Prize for discovering how cells communicate with each other using 20 to 40 ion channels. And the best way to explain that is think of yourself as you're talking on a cell phone. When you're right next to a tower, the cell phone works great. But when you have all this static and all these problems and you can't get a good signal and you're only hearing every third word or every fourth word, what's happening is our body at a cellular level has so many toxins that the body at the intracellular communication level is not communicating correctly. And it's having problems because when the body is working correctly, the one cell in trouble will call other cells, will call in reinforcement, but we have to have the detoxifying pro products that are going to do what we need to help at the cellular level. Now, another thing too, and I've read all of these animal studies, and it's unbelievable. Um, with having this organic germanium, it'll help the lifespan of animals. That's, that's always impressive. It will uh, generate energy by raising the cell's oxygen supply. And, you know, a lot of people don't realize it, but all the people that live in the towns and all heavy industry, that our oxygen level is always going lower and lower in the cities. It'll help restore homeostasis of the blood, including the pH. It'll also help you uh, with your youthful vigor and appearance. A lot of women are interested in that. It also has uh, semiconducting properties and the ability to donate and attract electrons, giving it a very unique chemical power to correct imbalances in the animal and also people. Now, one thing that is real exciting with um, Liao, he spent a lot of money to make this water-soluble extract technologies. And uh, I've seen a lot of programs. I've seen a lot of things made. But in my opinion, the reason why we're having such great results in North America and because Ganoderma molecules are so extremely small and because it has the 200 active elements and the 165 antioxidants, they have the ability to go into the cell, get the toxins, and come out of the cell, resulting in a much healthier cell and also helping with intracellular communication. Now, if we want to find out, okay, what has the highest amount of organic germanium content? You know, everybody's heard of uh, broken cell wall Corella. It has approximately 76 parts per million. Uh, aloe. And aloe is legendary and has a great reputation. 77 parts per million organic germanium. Then we have comfrey. We're up to 152 parts per million. Um, ginseng. Now, there's a lot of different ginsengs. We're talking about, in this case, a Japanese variety. It's anywhere from 260 to 320 parts per million. And then garlic. Garlic has a long reputation. Uh, it is 754 parts per million. Um, the shell fungus, which is the Ganoderma, is 800 to 2,000 parts per million, and that is huge. Now, you know, everybody talks, you know, when you talk to a doctor, they say, you know, how healthy is and all that. L let me explain one thing that was funny. Uh, when people tried to get me into this company, uh, I was downright nasty, and I, my wife and I said we haven't drank coffee in 20 years and get away from me, and, you know, 
I knew all the bad stuff. But what was so funny was um, a lot of my patients were, I would consider, um, the toughest patients. And, you know, they would give up pork for me, and they would give up soda pop for me, and they would detoxify, and they would do all these things. But the thing is, they would not give up their cup of coffee. And so because of that, I figured, you know, there's healthy coffee, and there's the regular coffee. So I told my wife, Carol, you know, I think we ought to try this healthy coffee because people are not going to give up the coffee anyway. And, you know, like you say, you talk to most doctors, um, you know, coffee has a few helpful antioxidants. It has a lot more negatives and positives, the regular coffee. It's um, a high acid content. Uh, also, adrenal exhaustion, and that's a major issue. Also, the endocrine system stresses and other stresses on the body. Also, false anxiety, not to mention, you know, you're going to feel a little better from the caffeine, and then it goes up, and then it crashes. And one thing nice about the Ganoderma, um, there's a, uh, there's not, it actually detoxifies the small amount of caffeine, which is really big. And then, of course, also there's people that they actually get addicted to the caffeine. And, you know, I, I tease people all the time. And one of the things in this nation, uh, you know, everybody says that the United States was built on rock and roll. That's not a true statement. The United States of America was built on coffee, and there oh, really? is a ton of people out there that need it every day. I'm going to turn it back over to Jeff, and he's going to be talking you over about some of the other different products. Here you go, Jeff. Okay, thank you, Dr. Paul. Um, let's get back around to coffee now, finally. Uh, I think it was probably a good majority of the people that are listening to the broadcast tonight that, uh, whether they admit it or not, drink and love coffee. I think about 80% of Americans do. We, um, we drink about a third of the world's coffee supply in the United States. We are some hyped up, crazy, energetic people. And um, I was a coffee lover. Most people are probably drinking the cup right now as they're listening to this, uh, this webinar broadcast. And um, I'm just going to go through a list of the products that have been developed, kind of a marriage of these two things. The world's Number one comfort food by far is coffee. It's uh, consumed in this um, country uh, more than anything except for water. Um, by the way, just as an interesting fact, um, it's the second traded commodities on, commodity on the stock exchanges right under petroleum. So it's, uh, it's, uh, the point is the coffee is huge, just like Dr. Paul had said. We're, we're sort of built. It's a coffee society that we live in. It's so, um, it's, it's so central to our entire culture. And now we've got an interesting new product, something that's a, a really a brilliant idea. They, they found that nutraceuticals, and by and large, um, uh, the regime for most chiropractors or health practitioners that will put um, a person on a uh, nutraceutical regime, the average uh, has been determined uh, through surveys that that lasts about six months. At the end of a six-month cycle, most people are questioning the, uh, the benefits they're getting from a nutraceutical, a pill, and, um, and they're, uh, they're wondering about the cost versus the benefits. And uh, so they say about six months is a, uh, an average longest cycle. Uh, well, they decided uh, rather than making people gag down more pills, why don't we um, join the world's most beneficial herb with the world's top comfort food so that people can just, as they're sipping along with their um, their caffeine habit or their coffee habit, that they're also getting this nutrition which has created the world's first healthy coffee. And we'll just go through these, uh, these products. Uh, the first is three in one. It's got a little bit of cream and sh uh, sugar. Um, it's, just, it's a natural sugar. It's, a, it's an artificial creamer um, and the Ganoderma. And uh, it, this is real coffee, by the way, everyone. They've come up with uh, a... Um, a coffee that is an uh, instant. They spent several years and quite quite a bit of money to to pre-brew a coffee, quick dry it as they sprayed into a hot chamber, dry it quickly into a powder. And um, I've given samples of this to many many coffee snobs. I could just put it that way. That have a cup of this not knowing is an instant and say this is absolutely delicious. What is it? And uh, they've uh, I've had people make me prove to them that it was an instant. I've, 
get some hot water, open up that uh, that little sachet, pour it in, and they say, I'll be darned, you know, an instant that finally tastes like brewed coffee. There's, a, of course, the classic pure black coffee, which is just just uh, the coffee and the Ganoderma. There's a mocha, and this is yummy. If you like a dessert-style coffee, a little chocolate, uh, extra creamer, um, some sugar, it, that is an absolutely delicious cup of coffee. And then there's the Tonkat Ali. They have blended. We call this a Red Bull. In a, <coughs> they've, um, it's, it's not anything unhealthy like a Red Bull. They've actually got some natural um, stimulants like a ginseng, two types of ginseng, Tonkat Ali, itself is one of the uh, top in Asia, top uh, herbal stimulants. And of course, there's the little bit of caffeine that's in the coffee plus the Ganoderma. And uh, if you're ever tired, you get about that 3 o'clock in the afternoon, kind of slow down. I call this a second wind in the cup because uh, I, I have drunk this many, many times about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It just erases fatigue, and you're on without the jitters that I used to experience with high caffeine, high test coffee. Uh, there's a there's a no caffeine hot chocolate, a delicious European chocolate, and uh, it's good for children of all ages because it doesn't have caffeine in it. And um, I normally have a cup of this just before I go to bed for the uh, that extra good sleep benefit. Uh, there's a, a Gano tea. They use they're using the red rubos tea, which is uh, from South Africa, a delicious kind of an earthy tea, similar to uh, Lipton. Um, but uh, I think it's got a, a nicer aroma, a nicer flavor than a Lipton. It's that sort of style of tea, sort of an earthy. And uh, the Red Rubos is also world famous if you do a little research on the Internet as far as kind of like an Asiac tea or for the, of the health teas. It's very, very respected. And, of course, it has no caffeine. And um, it also has the Ganoderma in with the tea. There's a, you can buy just the herb in the... Uh, now, this is not ground up mushroom. This is a... This is an extract, a nutrient extract from, from the, this herb. Um, there's Ganoderma, which is the mature, and there's an Excellium, which is um, harvested early. It's the fruitating uh, mushroom that's harvested six weeks. It has a little different uh, nutritional breakdown, and we usually uh, have these in combination. They say if you take one of each, it multiplies the benefits of Ganoderma by a factor of about five. It's, it's a great thing to, uh, on a daily basis, just sort of um, soak into your system to saturate your system with this this great herb. This is the Tonkat Ali in pill form, kind of an energy pill without any jitters and without any negatives. They also have two other um, kind of peripheral products. One is a, a toothpaste with a Ganoderma. It has um, great uh, antibacterial kind of effects. People use it and say they their gum stop bleeding. There's no fluoride in this toothpaste and uh, it's uh, delicious. Uh, it feels like your gums just tingle when you brush your teeth. It's just absolutely delicious mint uh, toothpaste, a healthy toothpaste. And this, the soap is amazing. It's a hard-milled soap. Uh, you read the ingredients on this pack. It has Ganoderma and goat's milk, and that's it. It's a hard-milled soap. One of these little bars lasts months in the shower. And um, I, I saw something uh, one time. Actually, it was on a, a radio broadcast that was talking about health and nutrition. And it was somewhere in the 200s that they were talking about that there's chemicals on a daily basis from the health product or the beauty products that we use, including soaps and shampoos and things, something in the 200 and some odd chemicals you put on your skin every single day on an on average day. This is a soap that is just pure. There, there's nothing else in it except some goat's milk and some Ganoderma. By the way, Ganoderma, if you think about the etymology of the word, Gano is bright. And uh, derma, of course, we're familiar with, with dermatology. And um, it was very well known throughout the centuries for, the, for improving the quality of skin, Ganoderma, bright and shiny skin. Well, um, this is our final slide, and we're going to open up for some questions for Dr. Paul, if anybody would like to ask them. But uh, here's what's, what's been presented to us, um, a revolutionary idea, a combination of the world's number one comfort food, which is coffee, which all of us, uh, or many, many of us, just absolutely love and drink uh, in America three to five times a day is the average for the coffee drinker. And also they've coupled that with the world's most beneficial herb to make this amazing combination. Uh, a third of the world's coffee is consumed here in the United States. Fifty percent of our population drinks three to five cups a day. 
80 percent actually of our population drinks coffee at least occasionally. There's a half a billion cups a day consumed in the United States. That's a crazy figure, but that's that's according to the uh, Coffee Board of the United States. Wow. This product uh, really is making a claim of being a healthy coffee. It's actually turned coffee into a healthy drink. It's sort of turned it upside down. Uh, I used to feel guilty about drinking coffee, quite honestly, because um, doctors saying it's not good for your heart, and uh, um, you know, just in general, it's not in the health food aisles of most health and nutritional stores. But um, I can honestly say right now, I'm supposed to drink my coffee, and what a great <laughs> feeling that is. But Dr. David, um, I'm going to turn this back to you. I think you're going to open it up for questions for Dr. Paul. Is that correct? Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Jeff. That, that was good. That was really good. And uh, I'm just going to echo what Jeff said. Uh, I used to feel guilty about coffee myself. And um, I tell you what, like I said, when I first switched, I mean, everything else seemed to be so shabby. It's like uh, driving a Rolls Royce for a couple of, of weeks and then going back to a, a Volkswagen Be Beetle. I mean, you just can't compare the two. You just feel this isn't right. <laughs> and so, uh, folks, just to remind you about this, you, you can uh, type in your questions in the blue panel, the floating panel to the right of your screen. Just open the chat box. Oh, is it the question box? Yeah, I think it's a question box to your right, to the right, to the right of your screen. And you can type in your questions. I know we had a few questions come in before the webinar, and uh, I think I asked them if, to ask it again during the webinar. Um, <laughs> Dr. Paul, I have a question for you. When uh, I know when we're talking about this, you uh, when um, you had problem uh, having your patients uh, get off coffee. First of all, I want to I want to ask. I know you kind of like mentioned a couple of things, the problems with coffee, but uh, how did you? What were the issues that you felt were in the way of your your, your patients getting better? Uh, when you when we're trying to get them off coffee. Well, the the first thing is is that, um, like I said, people that were in really serious trouble. Um, you know, I would say, you know, you're acidic. You're going to have to get alkaline. In addition to that, I would say, look, you cannot do any soda pop whatsoever. Um, you have to stop eating pork because you cannot control parasites if you partake of uh, pork. And there's so many other things. And they would honor all of that. But the thing is, as soon as you would tell them that they had to stop drinking coffee, they would just flat refuse. They, they would not do it. Now, I think a lot of it is the addiction to the caffeine. I think a lot of it is, you know, coffee is the number one comfort food. And also you have to understand, you know, when people grow up in a society, it was like their parents probably drank coffee, and it was the coffee aroma in the morning, and it just became a, just a habit that, you know, when the sun comes up, um, you're going to have a cup of coffee in your hand. And so, uh, and like I said, when people would just refuse to do it, uh, that's really how I got excited about this company because, um, you know, if, if, if this is the way it is, I had to find a substitute, and then I took a negative, the regular coffee, and turned it into a positive, and you're giving people the 165 antioxidants, you're giving them the organic germanium, and you're giving them the 200 active elements that are beneficial for people. Hmm. So, uh, so what you were saying is that even the... the the fact, we know coffee obviously naturally stimulates your adrenal glands, making you more stressful, more stressed. Um, are you saying that the germanium or the gano blunts that effect? Oh, absolutely. And see, the the other thing is too, and you have to understand. Now, there are different types of products that we have here. Um, now, uh, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that the black would probably be healthier. Um, if you want the most healthiest thing to drink, it would probably be the South African high altitude red rebose tea. Uh, it has SOD, superoxy dismutates. It also has the Ganoderma. And to give an example, 
Um, there are companies that just have the South African tea by themselves, and it's legendary. So we have the South African tea, which does all kinds of wonderful things. Then the Ganoderma was added to it. Then the superoxy dismutates have been added to it. And it's the best tea in the world. And see, there's a lot of people, they just take a coffee maker, run 8, 10, 12 cups of water into it, put one tea bag in there put it in there and it tastes great. And then you can go to the health food store and there's places where you, you can put in a strawberry flavor from the health food store, you can do a peach or you can change the flavor to whatever a person wants. But see, you have to understand there's two people in the world. There's one set of people that are health fanatics and they're gonna do the healthy thing first. And then there's the, the actually there's more people that really don't care that much about the health. They're just addicted to coffee, period. And these people, you ask them, well, how do you take it? And they're going to say, oh, I put sugar in it, I put creamer, and I put coffee, and I drink it every day. And they're never going to change. And so what you do, you give them the three-in-one. And the beauty of this thing is there is going to be enough of water-soluble Ganoderma to detoxify the creamer, to detoxify the sugar, and at a cellular level, still have enough Ganoderma to go in and do the benefits that you want done in the body. And that's huge. And uh, speaking about um, toxification, um, uh, toxics, toxins, excuse me, uh, someone asked about decaffeinated coffee. I know de decaf has more toxins than regular does. What do you have to say about that? Well, if you understand the process and how it's made, the decaf is not a good plan at all. Um, in fact, um, a lot of people say that you would be even better to drink the regular coffee than the decaf. It's, it's almost like the same thing that, um, and I'm not an advocate of this, but I even tell people that, you know, they're people that drink soda pop and then they drink diet pop. Um, actually, the diet pop is probably five times worse than the regular pop. Um, and so uh, the answer to that would be is that you, you just take a negative, turn it into a positive, and just drink healthy coffee. All right. Makes sense. All right. I, I know um, we have a few people who know about um, glyconutrients and polysaccharides on the call. So some questions are coming in and saying, well, what is this? How, um, what are the glyconutrients? Are there any glyconutrients in Ganoderma lucidoma? Yes, there is. Also, too, the, the, the thing, it, it'll be, if it's a layman, it, some of it will be a tiny bit over someone's head. But if you want to have some fun, uh, just go to PubMed and type in Ganoderma, and you will find so many peer-reviewed studies all over the world, and you can read and read and read. And that's the best way to do it because these are researchers, these are scientists, these are people that work in universities all over the world, and they will be able to actually tell you, um, you know, additional benefits and why it works and how it works, and it's very, very impressive. Great. Great stuff. All right. Um, Sherry and I will be I'm taking questions now. And Sherry, are you ready? Sure, I'll ask one. Somebody wants to know if it's been determined safe um, for people to drink the healthy coffee while they're pregnant. Well, here, here's what I always say. And the reason is, you know, um, it doesn't matter what the product is. Uh, unfortunately, in today's society in the United States, um, there are way too many attorneys. <laughs> and then the other thing is with with so many toxins that that uh, young women and women at every level, uh, you know, in the air, in the food that they eat, in the genetically modified food, and, and I could have, the list could go endless. And so what happens is um, God in his infinite plan, when, when you have a baby that's not going well or whatever, and what happens is a woman has a miscarriage. Well, when that happens, people are remorse. It's a horrible thing. But then what happens is then an attorney wants to get involved, and they're looking for someone to sue. 
And so unfortunately what you always tell them and it doesn't matter what the product is. It doesn't matter if it's uh, healthy coffee. It doesn't matter what it is. When a person says, I'm pregnant, can I drink this product? And the answer is, no, you cannot. You have to wait until the pregnancy is finished. And that is just a legal reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think yes. everybody can read between the lines because, like, for example, uh, you know, there's been people that have been drinking the South African Red Rebos tea high altitude for centuries. And so, uh, you know, and that was before we had so many attorneys and so many laws and so many, you know, things of that nature. All right. Um, folks, I, I put up the, the, the numbers on the screen a second ago just just for those of you who are asking how to get the product and all that. Uh, remember, if, if someone invited you to this webinar, please get back with the person and then, get, then you can talk about it from then on. This, this is for, we're putting up this number for people who just are interested, no one had talked to them about this before, and uh, who just want to give it a try. All right, uh, Dr. Paul spoke about the Red Ribos T. Well, that, that would be the one on the right side, right? It's one over here. Is that the one you're, um, you're referring to, the Red Ribos T? Yes, that's correct. It's the red one right there on the right-hand side. And see, that that is a fabulous product. That is a fabulous detoxifier. Um, if you drink a lot of it, it's also important to drink a lot of water because anything that you take that will detoxify the body. Um, also, when you are detoxifying, um, notice that, you know, you're going to have changes in your bowel movements. You're going to have changes in the urine. Um, you, in, in some cases, if a person, uh, like you might even have a situation where you were bit by a rattlesnake on your right ankle and you're drinking a lot of this tea and all of a sudden there might be a discolorization or something that would change. Uh, this is not a bad thing. This is the Ganoderma that's going in there and working for you. And on the left side, I know I was speaking with Jeff about this, and he was talking about how this helps you sleep better, even for people with sleep, sleep issues. Well, the, the best part about the Chocolat is that it works both ways. You know, they, they've, even, they've even determined that um, when a child goes to school, that they give them one of these hot chocolates and they actually do a lot better in school. It helps with concentration. Um, the chocolate is a dark chocolate and it's a very, very healthy thing. In addition, it has the Ganoderma. Of course, there's no caffeine at all in this product. And so you have two benefits from this product. Um, you're gonna, it's going to help the brain work better. It's going to feed the brain with what the brain needs. And it's also going to help old and young people. And so you can take it first thing in the morning, or you can take it late at night and help you sleep better. So it, it works both ways, and that's wonderful. And it's wonderful that it's chocolate, too. Well, I'll tell you what. When you're, you know, women and chocolate. <laughs> um, and, you know, there's another thing, too. Um, the mocha screen. Um, you know, I have, I have served this, this, the mocha to thousands and thousands of people and women. And it's funny because uh, I have never given a mocha to a woman that didn't just love <laughs> yeah, Just love it. Well, yes. and, and that's another thing that is probably important to women as well is weight loss. And oh. is there a weight loss benefit to... Oh, yes. Yeah. There is also a weight loss benefit to the because, see, you're getting your nutrition at a cellular level, and so the body, see, um, all the soil on this planet is pretty much played out. You know, we're throwing so many petroleum things in the soil to get it to work for us. You know, it says that every seven years we're supposed to let the soil grow dormant. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not doing that. We're, we're farming it every year. And so we have a situation where... Um, we're, you know, even though we get more food than anybody, but we're not getting our nutrition. So you're getting the nutrition at the cellular level. Um, that's exciting, and that'll really benefit people. Why, why you have it on the screen? The Concat Ali, the one on the right. Number one, that is my favorite product. Mm -hmm. I have a Tomcat Ali, at least one, every day of my life. 
it's it's funny because not only do you have the 200 act developments from Ganoderma, but you also have the number two herb is ginseng. Mm -hmm. And so now you get all the multiple benefits of ginseng, and then you have Tomcat all eight. And I tease people and I say that um, if a husband and wife does it together, they <laughs> won't be unequally yoked. <laughs> hmm. It's deep. <laughs> and another I'm just thing is trying too, to get it. So. <laughs> another thing is too, if um, if you're going to play racquetball with uh, your boss and you want to beat him, uh, have a Tomcat Ali just before that, and you'll crush him because it <laughs> gives you right. lots of energy. <laughs> All right, thank you, Jeff. Thank a, you, a lot Paul. of the bodybuilder, a lot of the bodybuilders, just before they're going to do a hard workout, you know, um, they'll do a Tomcat Ali and just rip those heavy weights. <laughs> well, here, here's another interesting question. It says, the, uh, the Asians promote the wild grown, well, this is talking about uh, ginseng, I think, but it says the Asians promote the wild grown ones as having higher medicinal value. Will these red mushrooms from plantations have a compromised level of nutritional and medical value as compared to the wild grown ones? Um, I've been to Malaysia. I've seen the operation. I've seen what it's grown in. I've seen the soil. I've seen how they make it. it, it it's in a special rice-type paper. You see, they're giving it the perfect humidity, the mm. perfect temperature. They're giving it the most perfect environment. And see, they do tests on the product. And see, they also take, um, is it six or seven different species? Six. six different species of the Ganoderma. Nobody knows the percentage. And Liao's not going to tell you because he spent millions of dollars for this. But one percentage, like you might get, let's see, 40% of one and 5% of another and 10% of another. And this is, there is hundreds of species of Ganoderma. He went in there and found out which is the best one for men and mm. women. And so from that, he has that percentage. And so he takes part of this, part of this, part of this, and then he has the technology where it is a water-soluble extract. And see, the nice thing about a water-soluble extract, when, when you take a capsule that doesn't have the water-soluble technology or you take anything, it's now in a solid, and what happens is you can't guarantee cell delivery. When you take a water-soluble product, and you drink it, you're guaranteeing that it's small enough and it will work so it will go into the cell and it will go out of the cell. And that is huge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. How, there's, you've mentioned that there's caffeine in it. How does the caffeine level in it compare to just a regular cup of coffee? Is it about it, the same? Well, here's the best way to explain that, is that uh, I, had, I had patients that had... Um, that, you know, if they would have any caffeine whatsoever, they'd vibrate for three days. Mm -hmm. and, and so the thing that's so unbelievable is that they do any of these products and they have absolutely no problem at all. Now, there's some caffeine in it. Not all of them. You can do black and you can do tea and you can do uh, the chocolate. But, um, and, and one thing as a doctor I have to be so careful about is that because, um, you know, would, would the tea be the most beneficial product or the chocolate or the black? Probably. But the thing about it is you have to understand if a person is going to drink coffee with cream and sugar, no matter what the excuse is or what the reason is, you just be quiet and there is enough water-soluble Ganoderma with organic germanium in there to detoxify at a cellular level the caffeine, the sugar, the creamer, and still give you a benefit in your body. And that's huge. That is huge. Uh, right. Related to the cream and sugar thing, there's a question here. It says the product has cream and sugar, and that you had said it's natural sugar but artificial creamer. Somebody's just wondering why the product uses an artificial creamer. Now that's only on the three-in-one. And once again, you know, a person can... We've got per people that buy the black, 
and they sweeten it with somebody with something else, you know, you're not you don't have to buy the three in one. You mm -hmm. can buy any one you want. But you know, the, the thing about it is, is that people are going to buy what they want to buy. People are going to drink what they want to drink. And the funny thing about it is, you know, when you have people, you know, I have a tiny bit more of this or a little bit less of that. And the bottom line is, uh, you know, he's going to a coffee shop and getting a caffeine bomb and drinking it every day. Okay? And it's not healthy. And it's not go doing him well. He can take our three-in-one and drink it every day and get a benefit to his body at a cellular level. Mm. Okay, you know, this is Jeff. I've, I've, um, the artificial creamer is not some unhealthy chemical creamer. It's, uh, it's got an oil to the base. I think they use soy um, for some of it, but it's, um, there's a lot of people out there with a lactose intolerance, and so they chose to go with an uh, artificial creamer instead of a, you know, a lactose type of a product. Oh, by the way, a couple of questions ago, you talked about weight loss. I lost about 47 pounds with this product. Uh, tried for several years to lo couldn't lose even five. I'd lose it, gain it back, and that's a typical scenario in this country. Um, uh, lose 10 or 12 pounds, gain back 15. I've kept this 47 pounds off for three years. So oh, this wow. is a, a really nice maintenance that. program for, for that as well. So a fantastic weight loss benefit uh, connection. Wait, 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 wait. Jeff, are you, yes. saying that, are you saying that you lost weight simply by drinking coffee? Yes. Oh. In fact, uh, I asked... Surely um, there has to be something else to it. No, there's, um, uh, there's a reason for that. In fact, I searched for a reason for a long time. Uh, there's a, a guy by the name of Dr. Kenneth Kroll. He's double board certified, spoke at one of our conventions. And um, I said, tell me, explain to me, why have I been losing weight? You know, and um, he said, well, uh, just like Dr. Paul had just said, there's a sating um, property to, to this product because of all the nutrition. He said, there's a place in your brain, and I'm not a scientist or a medical doctor, but I'm just repeating what he said. Uh, there's a place in your brain that realizes when you've got insufficient levels of nutrition. Say, for example, if you ate a bowl of cereal, breakfast cereal, that place in your brain is not satisfied. You can eat the whole box, <laughs> and you're still hungry for something. Um, right. But if you, wherever that place is, that realize you have what you need, it sort of turns off your appetite. So I started finding that I lost my sweet tooth. I started finding at lunchtime, for example, I didn't eat a half a sandwich. I take a cup of coffee, and eat a half a sandwich, and I was just strangely full. And you can overpower it and just go ahead and stuff the rest of the sandwich down. But if you cooperate with that, and just say, you know, I'm full, and just push the plate away, um, you don't suffer at all after that. You feel good, you feel satisfied, you're fine until dinner. And so I just wanted a, a, a regime like that. It took about a year, a little over a year, I lost these 47 pounds. Uh, safe weight loss, you know, about five, six, seven pounds a month. And uh, it was effortless, to tell you the truth. It was a very pleasant way to lose weight. Wow. Wow, that's impressive. All right, someone's asking a question. Uh, do you know what the teas are made of? Made of? Is it? Uh, a herbal tea or the black tea leaf? Now, the tea, uh, what it is, it's a South African red repost tea. It's grown at high altitude. And um, then what it is, then they mix the superoxy dismutates. And then the most important thing is then they go ahead and, and mix the, uh, the Ganoderma with it. Now, we can get even more technical on that. Um, and get um, uh, we can get with the company and even get a lot more technical that but I'll tell you what uh, one time I was um, talking to a health practitioner in East Coast and this man when he saw we were Red Re Rebo South African tea he promptly gave me a 45 minute lecture on Red Rebo's tea and I had heard the first 15 minutes of this lecture, but I had never heard the last 30 minutes. And I wish I had tape recorded it because this guy knew more about bread rebose tea than anybody on the planet. Mm -hmm. But um, he was very, very excited. And he always orders unbelievable amounts of this tea every month mm -hmm. for all his patients and for himself personally. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, someone that says... Uh Tannic acid, tannic, T-A-N-I-C, 
acid re reacts negatively on, on me, does the tea have tannic acid in it? What we would want to do is if we want to get real technical on just one person, what we'll do is uh, at a later date, um, have them get in touch with you, and then we'll get a tiny bit more information. Uh, I tease people and say that it, it's, uh, I'm also an excellent car mechanic, foreign and, and, and American, and I tease people because somebody will, uh, they'll have a brand new Jaguar, and they'll be in Oklahoma City, and I live in Tulsa, and they say, the car quit right now. It won't run. What's wrong with it? And um, I tease people, you know, and, you know, you could be out of gas, and you also can stick your finger in the spark plug, have your wife turn it over. If you get shocked, we know we have fire. Or your fuel, in, or your fuel injection system could be plugged up. And so what it is is when we get down to specifics that really only is going to cover that one person, we get a little bit more background information, and then we do it correctly instead of just doing a blanket thing because everybody's different. Right, right. Okay, Australia. I know, Jack, you and I went from speaking to you. You said this is the Gano, Gano XL is the largest multi-level company in the world. Uh, is this available in Australia? I would suppose so. Uh, it is available in Australia, but I think it they don't have quite all the products. I don't know exactly um, the particulars on that, but I don't think they have all the products. I think they have just two or three of the products there. But they'll be, uh, as they get bigger, they'll add all the products. Got it. Okay. Uh, are there any nasties in the toothpaste, like SLS or parabens? The, the toothpaste is unbelievable. Another thing is, um, I, and I'm joking, I'm showing my age because I have five grandchildren. <laughs> but one of the best things for uh, the toothpaste is that if you have any kind of owie or mosquito bite or any kind of bug bite, just put the toothpaste on it and it, it just heals quickly. It's unbelievable. It stops itching. It works unbelievable. In fact, there was um, one of the, the women there um, had a pretty ugly scar on her left knee and she just put the toothpaste on there for about two months every day one time in the morning, one time at night, and um, by the grace of God, there's no scar. And so there's there are so many different people that have unbelievable uh, uses for the toothpaste, other than just your teeth. <clears throat> David, I've got a, a quick uh, story about my son. Um, he's uh, he's in his late 20s now, but um, since he was 12, he got a fungal infection on his big toe, uh, like you've seen quite a bit, in a, a toenail grows thick and gets yellow and it falls off. And we tried the antibiotics and spent the three or four hundred dollars at a time. And he hasn't had a toenail for 12 years. And uh, two summers ago, I noticed at the pool that his toe was green. And I asked him what, what was wrong with his foot. And he said, I'm putting toothpaste on my toe. And I said, why? He said, well, I read that Ganoderma has some antifungal qualities. And what the heck, might as well give it a try. And he said, look at it. And he had half a toenail. He has a full-grown toenail for the first time in 12 years. He's kept it for two years. So um, people are using this toothpaste for all kinds of things. We've had some of the greatest, craziest stories uh, from that. I just thought I'd pass that along. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's interesting stuff. So I guess derma, again, uh, Dr. Paul said, said don't, derma is referring to the skin, so it does have significant skin benefits, huh? Absolutely. Okay, uh, a couple of people asking about the price lists. Do you, do you guys want to just go through this real quick with us? And then, then let, me, let me start with the first slide you, we have there so you can just tell them, give them an idea. I, I guess you, if, if these people decided to buy based on the number we gave them, we're, we're talking about the price they would pay based on the membership number, correct? Yes, uh, there's a wholesale and a retail like there is with uh, many of the companies. The retail is approximately 60% higher. Um, the three-in-one uh, is a, a seventeen-dollar wholesale, twenty-five dollars on a retail. So, if we're using the number that uh, that we provided, they can get this for seventeen dollars, right? Uh, yes, with a um, with a membership like a Sam's wholesale membership uh, mm -hmm. fee, it's a, it's a lifetime. It's twenty-five dollars, or if they go and do a monthly order of thirty dollars per month on an auto ship, they mm -hmm. waive that fee. 
And um, by the way, David, I just interject here. Uh, um, my my tel my personal telephone number is listed on that screen that you mm -hmm. gave before. And if a person would like to call me and ask questions, they're not going to get a sales pitch from me. Um, Thank you. I'd be glad to just uh, pass along any information and provide them with an ordering number or help or assist them to place an order. And uh, I'd be glad to, or they can call straight to the company if they'd like to try this product. Well, I'm, I'm sure they appreciate that very much, and, and we do as well. Now, some of you were even asking for your, you asking if you have a personal web, web address. I guess they like your voice so much. <laughs> okay. The, uh, the, for the coffee, it's um, myganocafe.com forward slash health java, H-E-A-L-T-H-J-A-B-A, -A, health java. Sure, Sherry, could you, uh, could you write, write that and just chat, um, text it to everyone there? Um, yeah, go ahead and say it again quickly. My Gano, G -A -N -O, cafe dot com forward slash health java, H-E-A-L-T-H-J-A-B-A. And you can, uh, there's quite a bit of extra information that people can kind of browse through that in, in, uh, in addition to what we've talked about tonight okay, great. on that website. Great. Um, um, Dr. Paul again, uh, while, while, while we're going through the list, someone's asking, can Ganodermas modulate the immune system? Can it calm it down if overactive? Can it increase it if it's underactive? Well, there are so many components um, that are considered adaptogens. See, adaptogens really came on the scene. It was the Russians that really brought that to the forefront with all their athletes. But an, adapt an adaptogen would qualify as a uh, modulator where um, it can turn things up, it can turn things down. And so um, that's really interesting, and, and it is very, very helpful in, of course, um, increasing your immunity and things of this nature. Now, the only thing that would probably, that I, I want to give a little sidebar, if, if somebody's in a situation where they have had a organ transplant, where they have somebody else's organ and they are taking um, drugs, prescription drugs that would be to actually um, to counteract their own God-given immune system so the body will not reject that organ, then in that case they should check with their doctor because this could be counter-indicated because it might supercharge their immune system too far. And I think everybody understands that. Right, right. That makes sense. So, so you, you guys, folks, you need to watch out for that. But for the regular person, uh, person who would be like what Jeff was talking about, how he used to get flus every year, this would help to improve the immune system, so the immune system will be able to deal with such things in the future, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the, the list again, because I'm sure people want to know about this. And I think $17 for a pack of 20, that's pretty good. I mean, that's better than you can get in any coffee shop, for sure. All right. Yeah, that's so, about a, a, a convenience store, less than a convenience store price, and this is a spectacular cup of coffee. The, the black here is on the, on the right. And um, it actually makes a 16-ounce cup or two 8-ounce, 6 to 8-ounce cups of coffee. It's the most reasonable. Of course, it doesn't have the convenience of the creamer and the sugar. You have to add your own. But a lot of people do really like black. It works out to about 37 cents a cup wow. uh, for that. It's, this is a very reasonably priced product. That's one of the things I really like about it. Right. So people can stay on it a lot long enough without having to worry about prices. This mocha is probably the most expensive, right? Tell us about that. Um, yes, it's twenty dollars for fifteen, so it's about a dollar and twenty-five cents a cup. But uh, you know, people stand in line for four to five dollars a cup over at Starbucks, and it's just mm -hmm. high test, high caffeine, terrible, a terrible product. And so, um, again, for household use, uh, if you want a, a, a cup of a dessert coffee for a dollar and twenty-five cents, uh, you can't beat this. Uh, mocha. It's amazing. Okay, and, uh, great. The Tom Cattle Lee, uh, seven, again, $17. By the way, they take a dollar off if you do a monthly ship, shipped order, so it's $16 at the wholesale uh, for those who, who are on a standing order. Those standing orders, there's no commitment like there is to a Javalia company where you have to do it for a year or anything like that. You can change it up each month um, as you like. You know, but it's uh, if you just place a, a standing order, they do dock an extra dollar off of your purchase per box. 
great. Okay. Uh, okay. I went back too, too fast. Chocolat. Chocolat, uh, twenty dollars again, and that has thirty sachets in it. That's a great big old box of chocolate. So um, uh, for twenty dollars, that's about seventy-five cents a cup, and it's a, it really is a good. Uh, the Europeans know how to do chocolate. <laughs> yeah. The Gano tea is uh, again seventeen dollars. They've, they've kind of um, uh, been consistent on the on their standard products, seven, sixteen or seventeen for the auto ship or the standard for for the Gano tea. And there's twenty uh, tea bags in there. Uh, this is a very deep tea bag. Uh, we've had people uh, get up to a gallon by just by simmering for about fifteen to twenty minutes. A gallon, and it, it makes great uh, iced tea as well for the summer. Um, a lot of the people that enjoy this tea will simmer it for 20 minutes. It makes a nice, uh, deep, rich tea. Cool it down and uh, use it for, for iced tea. It's, it's a good value. Great. The nutraceuticals, there's 90 uh, capsules in each of these, and it's $35 at the wholesale rate. Uh, again, very reasonable compared to what I um, did some research four years ago. At a four to five, literally four to five hundred dollars, many many companies were selling Ganoderma in that price range. Good quality Ganoderma. These are thirty-five dollars for ninety capsules. Um, again, a, a very good price. Great. And this same same price as well, Sacano. Sacano, yes. There's a, I think there's sixty of the Sacano, but it's the same price for thirty-five dollars. Okay. Toothpaste. Toothpaste is ten dollars for a uh, for a tube, and uh, the soap I believe is the same. Okay, great. How many how many bars in a? Uh, There's two of those bars, example. but I, I tell you that you buy one of these packs. Um, that's a year's worth of soap. It, oh it, really? Uh, it dissolves so slowly. It really does. It's a hard milled soap, and it, it just lasts forever. Uh, it's probably not one of their big profit makers because of that reason, because it just lasts so so long. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just being honest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to coffee. Someone says, is the Gandoderma infused into regular coffee? What kind of regular coffee, if so? Uh, the coffees, uh, they, they do get them. They're organic, but they do get them from uh, various sources. Uh, Viet Vietnam, uh, Indonesia. Um, I know they've used some Brazilian coffee in the past, and so um, they're they're out there selecting coffees as well as far as the beans. But uh, those are the three that I'm familiar with. Okay. All right. Uh, on the cardiovascular system, someone is kind of concerned. Is it okay for heart patients taking blood pressure medications? And of course, I understand this is a kind of sensitive question, Dr. Paul. So how are you going to handle this? Well, what we ought to do on, on that kind of a question, we're going to probably get a little bit more information, um, you know, because, you know, you know, when we're, when we're talking like that, you know, it's the person weigh 400 pounds, um, and we have a lot of different uh, things in play, and so those kind of questions, um, we'll just get a little bit more information before we make a blanket answer. Great answer. Okay. Now the other the other aspect that a lot of people don't understand, um, with all the studies, the new studies that were coming out with the heart, um, the heart is an, a very electrical organ, and they've now determined that the Ganoderma uh, that has the high amounts of organic germanium, and when also when you when you understand uh, organic germanium, see. Organic uh, or the organic germanium actually turned the whole electrical. Um, we went from the the tubes to transistors. Uh, the organic germanium actually um, caused the advent of radar during World War II, and so the whole revolution that the organic germanium did in the electronic world the same way that it just went absolutely bonkers there, it also is going to help at the electrical level in the human body, and that's huge. Hmm. Hmm. 
Someone was asking that the germanium, speaking about germanium, um, is it an antiviral as well? Um, best, uh, actually, the, the best thing that are, people are looking at, um, you can read in between the lines, but if they would go to PubMed, um, out of the, they will find, um, how many total was the last time I looked? The last time we both looked, there was 320, and you'll probably find 50 to 80 that will answer that question. Great. And you'll so, like the an and you will like the answer. <laughs> so, folks, you got to do your own research as well. And apparently, it's, it's you, you don't have to do too much digging to get the answer to that. Correct. Great, Sherry. Anything else you want you want to add here? Any questions? Uh, well, see, somebody asked if what if they don't want to lose weight? Any risk there of losing? No, that's that's not a problem. And <laughs> and the other thing is too, um, it was interesting. Um, there were a few people, and I think it's working at the electrical level and in other ways where a person that was extremely underweight, and mm -hmm. um, it's, it kind of worked uh, in, in reverse. So you have to understand that this, uh, the Ganoderma actually um, works at such a fabulous uh, modulator where it, uh, the adaptogen properties works to to adapt to whatever a person needs. Mm -hmm. Well, that relates to one of the other questions. Kind of, somebody wants to know if uh, Ganoderma will modulate the immune system, for instance, calming it down if it's overactive. And see, that is so important. People understand that um, there's so much pain involved in the human body that is um, basically because of inflammatory situations. And a lot of the inflammatory situations are because uh, an over-modulating of too much of the, the immune system for whatever reason. So the nice thing about it is it can turn it up and it can turn it down. So, and also I think um, people, like for example, you know, the day that I take my 36 walk behind Tor Toro and I mow my four lake lots, which is huge, and work like a dog, um, you know, I need uh, more things to work on my body. I need more things to help with my heart and cardiovascular and everything else. And then another day when I'm just, you know, doing other things on a computer, I don't need as much. So the nice thing about it is is that the, uh, the adaptogen uh, parts of this product can adapt to whatever a person needs at that time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, a couple more, qu just a few more before we wrap this up. Um, uh, for autoimmune conditions, I guess that, that, that just relates to the whole um, modulation thing, but people with autoimmune conditions, is there a fear when that's concerned or can it help? No, I, I personally would, wouldn't have any in, in, unless it would be a, something as severe as a, uh, you know, organ replacement that Got was it. not theirs originally. Got it. And this is probably the most important question of this webinar tonight. Does this coffee stain the teeth? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I haven't had that problem. And um, also, um, uh, I'm joking, if you use the toothpaste, I'm teasing. Um, <laughs> but uh, I have not had that problem, and other people have not. And I think half the reason um, long term, I think people are acidic for all kinds of reasons, and so when you when you do things that will help you become alkaline, that's going to help. And then also, I think because the coffee is so acidic, I think it has more of a chance of actually going into the teeth and staining them. The teeth thing, got it. Okay, that makes sense. All right, well that sorts of wraps things up for tonight. This has been great. Uh, Dr. Paul, thank you again. And Jeff, thank you. Do you guys have anything else you want to add before we um, end the webinar for tonight? Well, Dr. David, I certainly thank you for inviting me. And um, I, uh, I always close it that uh, the United States was not built on rock and roll. The United States was built on coffee. <laughs> 
David, you know, I think as a, as a nation, we're sort of leaning toward the healthy uh, products. Uh, you know, you go into the grocery store and something has lower uh, uh, fats and things like that. Um, uh, we tend to, to go that way. I'm just really grateful, personally, to have uh, an alternative to the high, high test coffees that I used to be drinking. And um, I really appreciate you having us on and uh, to be able to share a little bit about this. I just encourage some folks just to place an order and uh, give this a try. It's a, it's a kind of a fabulous product that I, caught me by surprise. I've, I've rarely drunk uh, enough, a, a different type of coffee since my first cup. Somebody um, is that satisfying. In fact, I, I got a customer of mine gave uh, offered me a cup of coffee. It was smelled great in their office. It was French vanilla, and um, I because the Gano Excel coffees are more pH neutral, not high acid. Um, there's just a different flavor to it. It's just uh, I, I took their cup of coffee and I poured it out in the parking lot. I didn't want to be ungracious, <laughs> but. Uh, uh, I just can't drink regular coffee anymore. It's just that much better. I, I think you've said the same thing. You you just really are enjoying this product, correct? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Now, I mean, I, I still fall off the wagon from time to time when I'm out of coffee or I'm traveling, but can't wait to get back on it, really. Well, thanks again for having us on. Uh, you too, Sherry. Yeah, good night. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> All right, you too. thanks, guys. Thank you very much. And folks, uh, thank you for hanging in with us. Uh, see you again on Thursday where we'll, we'll, we'll be having Dr. Owings to speak about the brain and nutrition. Have a great night and God bless. Good night.